Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. In this video, we are going to talk something about that is a rank versus branch and a campus. And you must have noticed that on YouTube, there have been a lot more videos about rank versus branch. And uh, at this rank, you must be getting this branch out of this category in that campus. And like, like that way, there have been a lot more different kind of video. But have you noticed that these ranks are in a completely true or just in a predicted uh, rank by using our uh, previous year data and all those kind of stuff and have you ever noticed that the there's any time VIT release any of uh, such data that uh, intake of an uh, this month of an uh, students or a seat metric uh, of an uh, different different branches like that way all kind of stuff that VIT doesn't release any of these uh, data and VIT doesn't release even seat metrics of different different branch and uh, in VIT that has been FFCS so it is a uh, fully flexible credit system in which you need to decide that which faculty you are going to choose and which course you wanted to take in your future like that way everything you have to decide it and like that way it doesn't matter that how much uh, seat uh, metrics they are taking in a specific branch or like that way so it depends on uh, how much uh, students they wanted to take in intake from a many previous year the VAT triple E examination is used to be held and uh, every year uh, there has been a rank versus mark but have you ever noticed that VAT anytime does release a rank versus mark or some kind of stuff or how they are uh, giving a rank like there any kind of a thing they haven't released and uh, just because uh, VIT follows a specific algorithm and uh, no one knew about it. There have been many of our websites and videos that uh, they are mentioning that if you get uh, this much marks then you must be getting this much uh, rank and lot more like that you must be seen on uh, different different websites and platform also. So how can you believe that uh, this uh, cutoff versus branch might be actually true? Because as uh, from a few years, uh, it was an offline counseling. In that counseling, you might uh, get a little bit hint that uh, by this much a cutoff, you must be uh, getting it. But now it's uh, from uh, last two years, it has been completely online counseling. And in online counseling, you need to feel that is a choice feeling. And like that way, your seat are being allotted. Sometimes in this choice feeling, a few of our seats have been vacant also, and sometimes it may get filled up also. So here, anything is been much not predicted everything is been a uh, randomized and uh, you can't uh, predict even little thing so one thing you need to consider that is a uh, you need to take a little bit care while uh, feeling that is a choice feeling and uh, in this you need to decide that which branch you're taking which category and all those kind of things you need to be keeping considering it and one of an previous incident that is a uh, one of my friend brother who was given a VAT triple examination and his rank was around 55k and when he went for the counseling, he did a proper choice filling and you wouldn't believe it. He got an EC branch in VIT China that also in category one. And you must be have seen a lot more video in that you must be saying at 55k, you must be getting that is a, you know, VIT AP or Bhopal with a CSC or different, different kind of stuff. And you wouldn't believe it that you can also get in VIT China. So all these are rank versus branch have been predicted. You can't even imagine that the, you might be also able to get admission in this. So my advice would be that, uh, do not much uh, follow this, uh, branch versus uh, rank and all those kind of stuff just for general prediction you can look around it and uh, take like the day but uh, do not major focus on that uh, just uh, do a proper choice filling and uh, everything you would be doing that depends on your choice filling and uh, like that way your seat allotment would be done so when you do your choice filling think properly and do then do your choice filling uh, and in this video, I will be giving you a little bit of rough idea about that, which which branch has been available. So like that, you can think on it that which branch you have interest and which branch you will be keeping at bottom. So let's look at it. Hey everyone. So you can look at the different different branches which have been offered in uh, all of the campus. First, we'll look out VIT value. So here you can look out that is how you would be offered with uh, biotechnology, chemical engineering, civil engineering, then a uh, CSC core which has been highly demandable and uh, one this branch you must be looking that is a BTEC uh, computer science and engineering with a business system in collaboration with TCS. In this uh, business system you wouldn't allow uh, much about uh, FFCS because in this uh, there has been fixed curriculum and uh, FFCS uh, in this uh, it is not allowed so when you're choosing this brand little bit to take care of it and uh, like that way think on it and then you need to take in rest uh, every uh, FFCS has been allowed so it depends on you that which branch you wanted to, to take and a uh, few of them uh, which have been a highly demandable branch which is a uh, uh, CSE course then uh, IoT then uh, information security then a data science and a blockchain which have been much of a demandable in a CSE rather than 
these all are being uh, just normal like the drain and uh, here also some of uh, mechanical and uh, electronic and communications and um, different different fields are there depend on your interest which you have been uh, interested like that you can choose on it then coming to the part that is a vit chennai here also there has been a demandable branch that is a cse core then specialization in ai and ml much of a demand for then uh, ai and robotics also and cyber security physical system uh, these were and uh, three four of an uh, demandable in a csc so you can look at it and like that you can decide which you have interest in and like that here also some of an uh, big uh, btec mechanical and uh, all those kind of uh, branches are available and which are little bit less demandable and you would be able to get it so if you wanted to keep in your priority then you have to keep this because uh, this you can easily able to get it then coming to the vit ap that is a which which branch are available so here also you will get that is a computer science and engineering and a btech in this also you wouldn't allow to choose a much of a course uh, during ffcs because the curriculum is been fixed then ec is there and mechanical but here you must be in that that why just four branches only and uh, intake of student would be how much so do not mistake in this in a choice feeling because when you will be choosing uh, this uh, ptech uh, computer science and engineering then at uh, specialization or a minor degree you will be having one option in a drop down that is a different different kind of course would be mentioned that is a core then physical system uh, machine learning ml uh data science like there are different different uh, options would be there so here you can look out that of which with specialization you would be getting in a computer science engineering that is in a csc so here also you can look out uh, artificial engine data analytics cyber security edge computing software engineering blockchain then in minors also different different uh, specialization in the minors are available then double majors are also available apply science business management media and communication mechanical and fintech corporate law digital marketing and like, like that way different different courses are available so when you do a choice filling feel according to it so that you would be able to get here and uh, these are also one of our best of and branches and uh, depend on your interest how your interest is that like that way you can choose it and uh, like that you can make a career and uh, has ffcs is based there so you have a uh, flexibility of uh, choosing your subjects during your semester so you would be easily able to study it and uh, easy to go now coming to the vit Bhopal, that is a year also btech uh, aerospace engineering then bioengineering but let's look at which are highly demandable that is a uh, computer science core then uh, ai and machine learning then cyber security is much of and demandable and uh, rest uh, depend on your interest and a uh, gaming industry is also been booming so like this way and few of them branches are there depend on your interest like that you can choose it and uh, this was a uh, complete information about which which branches have been available depend on your interest you can uh, feel according to it in your choice feeling and now uh, do a proper counseling this was in you know, all of our branches uh, which have been available in a different different campus and if you have any of a doubt please comment me or feel free to reach out to me on instagram that also all your doubts will be clear and uh, please subscribe the channel because uh, ch subscribing channel is an uh, important because you will be able to get a lot more videos about vat and uh, almost the general stuff placement stuff internship opportunity resources and uh, college life productivity a lot more stuff you'll be getting so subscribe it and uh, add your add few fun values to you that's pretty much see you in the next video till that time keep learning keep exploring